sure if you guys could hear this. I have to find <laughs> my ground where hope can be found. Good morning. I will stand my ground. Can you hear this? Can you hear the radio, Jesse? I will stand my ground. I like this song, so I'm going to listen to it. I hope can be found. Skip praise. Praise to the Son, the Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, beautiful Jesus, beautiful Father, thank you, Jesus. Would you allow him to lift you up to you well? Do you lift him up? Do you lift you up? Just take a minute to praise him. Praise Jesus. I love you, Father. I love you, Father. takes everything that's wrong and makes it right. Make it right, Father. Amen. Let me shut the radio. Okay, all right, I'm back. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing this morning? I am Diana, and this is Bathrobe Bible, or Winning with Jesus, depending on what day it is, because I change my mind all the time, and that's just how I go. <laughs> so, this morning, I have no idea what we're going to talk about, but I want to talk about just depending on God. Let's just depend on God for the things that we need. Let God know the things that we need. You know, God wants to have, all he wants is a relationship with us. A relationship with us to learn about you. He wants to help us do whatever we want to do. But he, not that's not correct. I ixnay that. That is not what I meant. He wants us to do the desires of our hearts, but the ones that he put there, not our selfish desires. That's totally different, okay? And what I mean by that and how you can tell the difference of what's what is God gives you gifts that are going to help other people, okay? Like spend time with the widow, feed the poor, things like that. Be a teacher, be a leader, you know, be an encourager. And what's funny is the gifts of the Spirit, there's so many, and we all fit in them because all of us, that's why there's not just one. It's not just like, oh, you get speaking tongues. Everybody gets to speak in tongues. No, we have different gifts. Everyone is anointed with their own thing. Special gift from God. That's your spark of divinity if you want to go with that. Uh, you know, at least, you know, Pelosi, Nancy, you know, I'll give you that one because that is a nice word, spark of divinity. Um, and it's individuality, right? So if we just... Allow God to work in our lives, work in our hearts, and work in our career, our family, our relationships, our own mindset. If we allow God to transform that by first starting a renewing of your mind, right? But of course, first you really have to start. Step one is getting your heart right. You got to get your heart right. And if, you, if you're not going to bring your heart, then what's the point of even coming? Like, you know what I mean? Why even bother coming? Like, you're not fooling anybody. Just, like Jesus said, give on to Caesar what is Caesar's. And give on to God what is God's. And you are God's. You are God's holy creation that he wants to help to manifest the life that he has created you to do. Okay? So, oh, here. I like this. Because this is true. And it's absolutely true. Because if you seek God, you will find him. He's not hidden. He's clear as day. His information is clear. His love is clear. His, like, everything. He's clear. Okay. So, first seek the counsel of the Lord. Oh, there you go. First Kings 22, 5. First kick this, you know, if you have a question, see, that's what I've been doing. And I, I have a big decision to make, right? And do I go for my selfish desires? Do I go for my boyfriend's selfish desires? Do I go for my son's well-being? Hmm. Seems like an easy one, right? But mommy had a hard decision making it, okay? I know. it's There's a lot of complicated factors in it. But in the end, mommy went with the boy. <laughs> and so now it's Christ first, then my kid, then me, okay? So Going forward tomorrow, I start a new job at Verizon at the store. Remember, you guys, I got the job before with Verizon, and I couldn't walk because my it would, like it was pounding the pavement, going door to door. Even though I love doing that because I love meeting people, but this is people coming in, so you guys are gonna have to come to the store to see me. Um, so yeah, so 
any kind of decision that you need, that God is there to, he is our counselor. He's there to guide us. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this or who he is and what, like, what his role is in our lives, and maybe that's why you should open up your Bible and you can find out. Because once you know more about who God is and what he wants, he's really a good guy. He's actually a good guy. You know, he's a good guy. He wants to help us. How do you not love a guy that wants to help you? And miraculously, he sustains you. And it might not be, you, you're, you know, the big house that you want or the ideal situation that you're looking for, but it could turn into something because you don't know the blessings that God has in store for you if you allow them to come. But if you're blocking yourself from sin, remember? Oh, hi. Like, it's me and, me and God, right? I'm talking to God. Hi, God. How are you? And God's like, where'd you go? Peekaboo. It's like you're playing peekaboo with God, right? Oh, hi, God. Here I am. I love you so much. I love you so much. And then sin. Sin blocks you from God. Sin. And God's like, uh, okay. Boom. You're gone. He's gone. Disconnected. You gotta stay on the path. That's why. And it's not even hard. The things that he tells us to do are for our own benefit. Anyone who wants to argue why it's not a good idea to follow the Holy Bible, I can sum it up in two words. You're not hurting anybody, and it's beneficial for everyone. So why is it bad? Why is it bad? Can somebody tell me why it's bad? Oh, because they don't want people to unite in love. They want people to fight and divide. And that's dumb. Why do we want to kill each other? Uh, that's craziness. Why do we want to kill each other? We don't want to hurt anyone. Do you want to hurt people? You do, kind of, sometimes, because they make you nuts and you lose patience. But no one's really going to hurt anybody. Well, I would hope not. But anyway. So, okay. So, that's that. So, here we go. I don't have all day. Diana, you don't have all day. So, let's get on. Oh, themselves and pray. Okay. First... If you seek him, he will be found. These are verses that the word seek comes in. Themselves and pray, themselves and pray and seek my face. Here we go. Second, I don't know, Chronicles, I don't know, Second Corinthians 7, 14. Let's hit it. Hold on. Come here, kitty. My kitty. This is my kitty. You guys know her, right? That's my kitty I sleep with. Okay, I said Second Corinthians. You have to remember. Mm -hmm. Two seven fourteen. Okay, that's easy. Seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. Let's see how quick I can do it. Let's see if I can remember before I forget, you guys. Hurry, 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 hurry! I can feel it leaving. Quick, quick, quick! Look like a bunny, Diana. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, where is it, though? I said second. Okay, let's try Chronicles, because I don't know. Uh, seven. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Dedication of the temple. 714, I said. Queen of Sheba visits Solomon. <gasps> Ooh, what's happening with this? Queen of Sheba. King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired and asked for. He gave her more than she had brought to him. Then she left and returned with her retinue to her own country. Where is that word? Well, that's nice. She got a heart's desire. Who was that lady? <laughs> Where'd she come from? See that? That's fun. Oh, then she gave the king 120 talents of gold. I wonder what this story is. We're going to have to come back to that. Okay, so what about it? See, I forgot it. So close. 714. What was it even? All right. Oh, yeah. Seeking, seeking, seeking. Seeking the Lord's face. We should read this, the dedication of the temple. Because our bodies and ourselves are the, de are the temple of God. All right. Cooperate. Thank you. Okay. I said 714. Can you find it already? Okay. When I shout up... Wait. 
When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land and send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Jesus came to forgive our sins, but you have to turn from your wicked ways. You have to turn. Seek his face. These are instructions. These are instructions. Humble yourself. Be like, dude, I am really sorry. C get cleansed. You need to get clean. Cry your face off, man, To Cry. Cry out to Jesus. Repent. But then stop. It, there's no repent and then go back. There's no jumping back and forth on the friggin' path, okay? Forget what you have. Give it up. It'll be way better if you give it up. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going all in for Jesus. I said this six months ago and I got distracted. But now, you guys, I'm going all in. I'm doing it. I start a new job tomorrow. I'm going to focus on my products, knowledge, and Christ. Okay? And then, as time goes by, I'm going to build. How can I help others? If you're not using your time for others, you're using time selfishly. So when you're working on your own, like the amount of energy that you exert at work, you should be exerting for yourself, for your dreams. Okay. If even like, if, don't even say, oh, I work eight hours a day. Well, there's 24 hours in a day. Uh, okay. What are you doing with the other 16? What are you doing? Eight, right? It's 24 hours. What are you doing? If you think about time and just time, what are you doing those times? You could be growing. You could be learning. You could be fellowshipping. You could be helping. You could be teaching. You could be leading. You can be encouraging. You could be healing. You could be spending time with people. There are a multitude of ways that we could be like Jesus in this world. And like, I don't know, maybe somebody has to organize. And maybe somebody has to have like uh, how to help others foundation in like every single city. And it's like, oh, okay, there's a lonely old woman over here who wants to go spend time with her. Boom. This lady that needs a break from her kid. This woman over here is like, oh, okay, I'll take the kid for a couple of hours. Boom. It's a community. Everybody helps each other. You know? Takes a village. It takes a village. It takes all sorts of different kind of people. It takes love. But we have to start loving each other instead of trying to beat each other down with our, oh, you like Trump, I'm going to kill you. Uh, really? Come on. Come on. Everybody needs to calm down. Calm down. I especially need to calm down. But I have been coming down because when you focus on Christ, he can help you. Because I think we get overwhelmed and we get distracted because we get overwhelmed because we're trying to control everything all the time. Okay, and if we let go and let God, I know that's so cliche, but if we really do, let's see where it takes us. I would like to challenge everyone who's watching, watching later, or, you know, whatever. Um, I would like to challenge you. And, you know, some people are full of crap. I'm full of crap at the time, too, I am. Good Diana, not so good Diana. And then there's a the third one floating around, okay? So my intentions are really good. And I'm going to really, really try as hard as I possibly can. To do these three things, dedicate my life to Christ, be a good mom to my kid, and work really hard for the, my Tesla, the blessings that are to come, because I believe if you give, you shall receive. So not that I, that's the only reason I'm doing it, but I like loving people, I like helping people, and that's what I'm going to do. So let's pray it out and start the day. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this beautiful sunny day. Thank you because I get to drive and I love driving in the sun. Father, as I walk out in faith, making a huge decision today is the day of the day of the day. Father, I'm not afraid. I can honestly say I'm not afraid because you go before me and I have been afraid before, but I'm not afraid anymore. Because I know where I have what it takes to do the other things and get the things that I want. The big thing that I want is you. I'm going to dedicate my whole life and I dedicate my household and I dedicate my son back to you. Back to you. I pray that all the others who are listening dedicate themselves to you right now. Ask you to come into their lives. Ask you to take control of this chaos that is this world. Ask you for the peace that comes with the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask that you sweep this home. 
of any bitterness and pain. Cleanse it so that it is a new beginning for everyone in love. And Jesus, if we walk with you, things will come back together and things will manifest into wonderful things, I know. And I believe your word and I believe in you and I believe in me. And I believe in your people, Father, and I ask that you help me to rise these people up in goodness and love to help each other and rise against the evil that is of this world that is fighting against you and your word. It's only for a time, Father. Help me to gather the sheep so we're safe when your wrath comes upon these people. Because they don't want to listen, Papa. What are you going to do? They just don't want to listen. Lord, Forgive them, they not know, do not know what they do. Father, please be with us all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Have a good day, you guys. I pray the Lord is with you. Be safe, be healthy, and remember, be blessed and be a blessing. Bye.